Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, oh boy, we've got our first pictures of Indiana Jones 5. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, Harrison Ford, it's good to see him again in the fedora, but he's starting to look like a 70 year, eight year old man. That's cause he is. Uh, yeah, so the internet reacted to these pictures and the director of Indiana Jones 5, James Mangold, who also did Wolverine and Logan, uh, he's actually a pretty good director. Well, he kind of lost his shit on Twitter. Yeah, a lot. Uh, in fact, I would say that Ryan Johnson, by comparison, looks like a professional people pleaser. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to talk about that in the, uh, the situation with Indiana Jones 5. But before we do, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're now over 198,000 subs. Woohoo! Thank you for the support, almost to 200,000. Again, not sure what we're gonna do, but we'll think of something. Mm -hmm. We'll think of something. Uh, so yeah, this is one of uh, many pictures released of Harrison Ford on set for Indiana Jones 5. Uh, he does look like a 78 year old man. Yeah, but I think um, they're gonna de-age him somewhat. That they? is the rumor. And uh, we actually have an article here by WDW Pro on yep. piratesandprincesses.net where he talks about that, because he's actually had rumors for a while that they were going to de-age uh, Harrison Ford and uh, all of that, that they might have flashback sequences in this movie, because it's supposed to be like the, the last hurrah for Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. We thought that last time. Uh, we but they're thought, going it again because Disney wants to have more money. Yeah, we thought that Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was enough. Apparently not. That we're, was really... We're going to go back for more. We're gonna go back for more. So uh, anyway, this isn't the real story. The real story isn't how Harrison Ford looks on oh, set. Oh, because he's an older guy. I mean, that's gonna happen, you know? I don't wanna be age shaming somebody. No, not at all. And, uh, you know, we saw a, a an artificially aged, I guess, uh, Indiana Jones in the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles. Um, he was missing an eye back then. I don't oh know. yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, he had a patch. So I don't know if that's gonna happen in this movie. Uh, freak whip accident or what. <laughs> I don't um, know. But uh, yeah, so people were like, hey, we have concerns. Uh, we've got concerns. Uh, this is uh, Matthew Kadish, Kadish, who I believe has a podcast. And said, look, I got some concerns. Uh, Steven Spielberg's not directing. Mm -hmm. that, that is the first time he has not directed an Indiana Jones movie. Uh, Kathleen Kennedy is producing. I'm sorry, that was only number two. That was only number two. Harrison Ford is 78. And it's supposedly written by Jonathan Kasdan, who wrote Solo. So. Some good points. Some valid, some very valid points. Things we, you know, uh, given what we've seen, I, I can see why someone would be concerned. Yeah, I have concerns. You know, again, the last Indiana Jones movie was, um, well, it was dog shit. It, it was, it was much shit. <laughs> it was much, oh my, it was much shit. Yeah, I don't think mutt is going to be in this movie. At least Shia LaBeouf's not going to so be in this movie. So it was a missed opportunity. I had to fix it for you. <sighs> Yeah, and Aliens. I don't know what the hell. Steven Spielberg actually threw George Lucas under the bus uh, for that one. But here's the thing. So James Mangold responds he to... He loses his crap. He loses his crap. Yeah, I, I don't know if this would be a response so much as losing his shit. His much shit. Thanks, Matt. One, keep making the world a better place, crapping on things in the first week of production from your basement. Two, never seen a script by John. Nothing against him, just reality. Butterworths and I started from a blank page. So apparently... Okay, so he's not writing it, okay? Okay. So there's that one. You got that one. Uh, one, three are hugely talented and all by my side. <laughs> yeah, I, I question some of that. But anyway. Uh, don't think about it, James. Keep doing your work. There are more people excited about it, I'm sure. Thanks, Axe. I don't mind people griping and prognosticating. Well, but you don't mind people doing it, but then as soon as someone does, you have a shit fit. Uh, but on my watch, false info, ageism, and snark from so-called journalists is going to be confronted directly and forcefully. Well, we actually are journalists, so have power, more power to you on that one. Uh, yeah. IMO, these clickbaiters like to dish it out, but like night crawlers, they can't stand the light. Well, that's those are some pretty strong words, dude. I mean, it, people are allowed to have opinions on things based on it. Here's an idea. Don't let anything leak then. If you don't want opinions, don't let anything come out. Yeah. Problem solved, because you're going to get opinions. Uh, I actually am with this guy. You can't blame people for being skeptical 
with uh, when you're making an Indiana Jones movie with a 78 year old Harrison Ford, especially after the Crystal Skull killed any excitement for the franchise. If you think Crystal Skull was great, we really are in trouble. Yeah, they nuked the fridge on that one. <laughs> Literally. Um, Mangold, I understand wariness. I live it. Yes. I don't know if I'll make you happy, but my team and I will knock ourselves out trying to make something good. We admire the craft of the originals. I hope when you see real images, they'll look better than uh, you than the uh, paparazzi shots well, from I'm the bushes. I'm sure they will. I mean, no one's questioning that. It's just that there's other things that they're concerned about. Uh, maybe just maybe I won't let you down. I cherish old Hollywood pictures. Give me a little air to make the film, then make your judgments, okay. or just make the movie. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> this is like the nice stuff. He said a lot. He said a lot of other stuff that wasn't as nice. He basically went on a rampage, like going after people. Um, he's talking about like the one person said about it. Um, it's not fan. He's like, well, he has a YouTube channel website. He may also be a fan, whatever the F that means. F, I'm an indie fan. And he's certainly not my fan. Harley seems a Harrison Ford fan. So what does the word mean exactly? What? Because you don't like, because you're, you're, cause you know what? Things change and you can like something and not like everything about it. I'm tired of this whole idea that this per like that this guy's falling right into it. That yeah. there's any criticism of anything is because it's personal criticism. And that's not always the case. Yeah. This um, one, the next one's even better. Yeah. So we don't have basements. Uh, we do have a kick-ass studio with a Batman statue. Yes, we have a kick-ass studio, too. We do. Uh, Mangold. Yeah, that's a kick-ass studio. Congrats on the Batman statue and the jar, the jar of corks. So how about you let me finish my film and then bitch all you want about in front of your vinyl bricks lit by your fancy bounce light. Maybe don't call opinion news. <sighs> Here's Matthew Kadish again. I've argued with people in writer's rooms and on movie sets back when I worked in Hollywood. But even if it was... Just over the internet, I'm free to share my opinions wherever the hell I want about whatever I want. But she is. Tell us about your Hollywood experiences, Matt. Give me some of the titles of your work so we can be on equal footing. Yeah, so now he's trying to make it a pissing match. Like, you don't, you're not allowed to have an opinion unless you're a director like me. Um, no, that's not how the world works. I'm sorry. And if you can't, if you can't handle criticism, maybe you shouldn't do this job. I'm just saying, and I get that you, you know, you get, we want to defend what you're doing and you yeah, don't want everybody yeah. coming at you and you get your back up. It happens to us all the time. I understand that. I really do. Um, but his behavior is just making the problem worse. And it doesn't help that, you know, he's associated with Lucasfilm, which has already gotten a lot of pushback from fans because Lucasfilm, frankly, seems to hate the fandom. Oh, and then, then the Ryan Johnson was out, out flat out calling people man babies. When And you could have an opinion that I didn't like it because I didn't like this one scene. I didn't like, and, and that was enough that you were labeled a toxic fan man baby for, because these people cannot take criticism. Yeah, I don't think anything that uh, Matthew said warranted this kind of no. reaction. He basically was like, I have concerns as a fan, you know, and look, I love Harrison Ford. I love Harrison Ford. Always have. But uh, reminds me of my dad. Yeah, for whatever yeah. reason, but he does. I want to remember Indiana Jones being like thirty-five, forty. You know, that's that's kind of you know, and we had a send off with Crystal Skull. Yeah, see, that's just my thing. I don't understand. Wasn't a good one, but <laughs> I don't understand why we need another one. I mean, Money. it's like usually you try to end on a high note, and I think well, they didn't end on a high note, so they're trying to make up for that. But. um yeah, it just seems kind of really, re really weird to go back to that. But then the flip side is they tried to do another one with a different actor or they tried to do another one that was maybe, you know, a younger version or something. People probably fit about it. But, you know, to me, that would have been a better way to go than. Or let's let's try something new. Let's uh, not make sequels to old franchises. Let's not. Well, Disney paid things. a lot of money for that. So they have to. That's that's it. That That's the thing. Now, I'm not saying the movie's going to be bad because, again, you know, James Mangold has. Oh, oh do you miss this, but movies. you missed his other comment though. Well, man, looking all bad out of shape because someone doesn't like seeing eighty year old Indiana Jones. I don't want to die on this hill, but dude needs to realize some people might not like that idea. Not bad out of shape, defending my friend and my project. I always know when a guy when guys can't answer a question, you just shift the marveling. You shift the marveling the fact I'm talking to you. What the hell? He wrote because you know you're just gonna marvel that I'm actually addressing you. It's like. Does, wow. Does he get together with Kevin Smith and they just talk about how important they are now? I don't Hollywood. know, but don't. dude, you know what? You've done so much damage just by opening your mouth and making comments like this. I get why you might be mad and why you want you might want to lash out and respond. But in this situation, when there's already enough issues, you just made it a hundred times worse. Yeah, because people already have a, a very not so fresh feeling about Lucasfilm, mm -hmm. and uh, whether it's Star Wars or Indiana Jones, you know, they're they're and like I said, I, I think at this point. 
looking at Ryan Johnson's tweet history versus uh, Mangold's, just this short interaction. But he didn't delete. Yeah. But Ryan Johnson didn't delete. What he didn't delete. But I don't remember Ryan. I mean, Ryan Johnson said some shit I don't agree with, but I don't think he got this caustic. Well, he's like, you know, because you're just happy because you're just Marvin. I'm coming off how I to talk to you. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like, God, come on, dude. You you're, know what? That you, you, Even if you had a good point, when you go, when you go to that, you lost your point. You know who doesn't come down from on high like this? And, and scold and lecture people. People like George Lucas, mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg. Well, that's because they're used to it. They've gotten crap for years. Yeah. They know how to handle it and do it well. This comes across as very unprofessional. I mean, I understand you want to defend your friend. I get it. I understand you want to defend your movie and your people are already judging it before it's crap. And that part of that, you can blame Lucasfilm for. Because yeah. they have they have the fans so divided. They have, they have so people ex used to expect the best. Now they just expect the worst. I mean, I'm just going to tell you like it is. They're expecting to be disappointed because they keep getting disappointed. Yeah, and people keep forgetting. Like, look, the last Indiana Jones yes. movie was... And that was George Lucas. Unnecessary and ungood. It was, it, it, an was un, really bad. it was an ungood movie. There were a couple of scenes in it that I liked, but most of it was ungood and unnecessary. And people were like, why are we going back to this? Why are we doing mm -hmm. this? Like people felt Harrison Ford as Indiana Jones, uh, that ship had sailed 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Why are, why are we doing it now when he's damn near 80? Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. They, they, and they kept putting it off. So, I mean, they've had how many years has Disney had? Oh, it's been like know? five years. And they've kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off since it's gotten worse and worse. Um, now, like, again, he's not wrong on the fact that we're just judging it by a couple, you know, shots from the quote-unquote bushes. But this whole idea of anybody having an opinion that doesn't glowingly give you praise is not a real journalist. I mean, that's, come on. Well, there was, uh, there was a journalist in here that was basically uh, – <laughs> uh, filleting Mr. Mangold and somebody called this journo out and was like, how much does Disney pay you? And Mangold's like, Disney pays me plenty. And it's like, no, not you, dude. The journo that's like, oh, you tell them. You tell those YouTubers. You tell those podcasters. Well, that's because the journalists are all pissed because the YouTubers and podcasters yeah. are actually reporting more on the news and getting more views than they are. If these guys were like, man, we are so pumped for this movie, this would have been, his reaction would be a complete 180. He wouldn't even react. He only reacted because he said people were saying what he didn't like to hear. Yeah. If people were saying good things, he would have just been like, that's right, I'm on top of the world, and not say anything. He wouldn't have probably said a word. I mean, just the behavior is not okay. And I and I get I get why he did it, but it just really was not a, a good idea right now to, to go there when it's already on, like, quicksand as it is with the fans. You know what, what gets me about this is we had a lot of sites like this that sort of were – Talking about Hollywood, but they existed outside of the Hollywood circle, like, you know, Ain't It Cool News back in the day and, you know, original, uh, the original R or LRM. And there were some other websites out there. And one by one, Collider even, I'd, I'd throw in there too. One by one, they all got compromised mm -hmm. by Hollywood. Hollywood basically came in and bought them out. You know, Nerdist. Some of these sites were, were actually purchased by Hollywood studios. Yeah. Under that, different companies. Yeah. And, uh, so Hollywood has had this, this great, uh, setup for the last four or five years now, longer than that, where they, they basically owned the, the quote unquote, uh, fan blogs too. And now we've got a whole nother generation of fan bloggers and podcasters and YouTubers that are circumventing that system. And now they're all pissed. They're like, yeah. I thought we bought you guys off. Why are you? Yeah. Why? You, how dare you still have an how opinion? Dare you? But like to make these comments where you're like throwing shade at people and then saying new, and your opinion news. Well, I don't know. I see a lot of articles on these, these news sites that are just opinion masquerading as news. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. we had a gaming review about, by reviewing PlayStation 5 and somehow it became about politics. I mean, it, it, just, they're all denigrating into some political, you know, bullshit disguised as reporting on you know, something else as news. And don't tell me, well, you can't give us that shit there, dude, that you're not real reporters or news people. Cause we actually are in the news, in the news networks. You actually were an editor for several different papers. Yes. And we actually come from a news background. So no, no, you don't get to say that to us. Cause it's not true. Just cause you don't like it. Doesn't make it untrue. Also this, this is not being recorded out of our basement. No, we pay a lot of money for this studio. <laughs> we pay a lot of money for this place. Anyway, I think we're going to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, this is another train wreck, another Lucasfilm train wreck we're going to watch. 
Uh, you know, I, I wish him well. I do like his work. I like his movies, but... And uh, I understand why he might have gotten yeah, upset. Yeah, you're going to get a little But salty. the way you did it was really, really shitty. I'm just going to tell you straight up. You could have done it so many other ways, and you could have behaved so much better than you did. Or just make a good movie and don't respond. And I'm tired of... You know? I'm tired, too. Yeah, that's true. And I'm tired, too, of the whole idea that you only can be considered a fan of something if you love everything about it. And you can't judge something at all until you see it. And that's bullshit, too. Because did you watch their videos before? you call them news and quotes did you go watch their videos and watch all their videos before you made snap judgments about what they they covered or different people covered because you didn't like their opinion i bet you didn't so we're gonna wrap this up yes all right please subscribe for more pop culture news news mm -hmm. views and rants here yep. on clownfish tv we'll talk later bye